In this third BIM tutorial movie, you will learn how to place the floor finish and the interior doors of the ground floor and insert the stairs, which we created in a separate drawing. Continue working in your own model or download the step 2 drawing. You can download the stairs drawing if you did not complete the creating the stairs movie. Dimensions can be found in Dimensions PDF. All dimensions are in millimeters. Before creating the floor finish, we will remove the bottom part of the exterior walls below the story high windows. Enable boundary detection. Hover over the top face of the bottom part of the exterior walls and use the extrude tool to remove it. and use BIM drag to connect two interior walls to the window frame. Make floor zero the current layer. Enable boundary detection and move the XY plane of the coordinate system to the bottom of the exterior walls. Type UCS, snap to a bottom corner of an exterior wall, then right click. Move the cursor inside the villa. The outline of the floor highlights. Choose extrude in the quad and type 100 in the distance field. Hover the cursor over each of the remaining rooms and click when the outline of the floor highlights. When the floor outline of the last room highlights, choose Extrude in the quad and type 100 in the distance field. Let's insert the interior doors. Dynamic UCS and Dynamic Dimensions must be switched on. Set the current layer back to zero. Start BIM Insert and double-click the interior door drawing. The interior door is attached to the cursor. Use the Dynamic Dimension fields to insert the door. Select the door and adjust its width in the Properties bar. Hover the cursor over the door, then choose Flip Left-Right and Flip In-Out to adjust the opening direction of the door. Hover over the door again and choose BIM Insert in the Quad to insert a copy of the door in another wall. Snap to the top corner of the floor finish to insert the door and adjust the opening direction. Select the door and repeat the same procedure to insert another copy of the door. Select the door and set the door frame thickness parameter to the wall thickness, which is 150 mm. and yet a few other copies. If necessary, adjust the door frame thickness to the wall thickness. This one is 50 mm.
Make sure Entity Snap Tracking is switched on. Choose Insert Block in the Insert menu, then click the Browse button and double-click the stairs drawing you created in a previous tutorial. Check the Specify on Screen option for both the Insertion Point and Rotation Angle settings. Then click the OK button. When the floor finish highlights, hit the Shift key to lock the dynamic UCS. Hover over the top corner of the floor finish to acquire a tracking point and move the cursor orthogonally to the inside wall. When the blue tracking line displays, type 2150 in the dynamic entry field and press Enter. Rotate the stairs 90 degrees, either dynamically or by typing 90 at the command line. This concludes this tutorial movie. Thank you for watching. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.